YouTube is all. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. I got a load of stuff. Ugh. I haven't done a traditional haul like this in a little while again because I, I was doing them as a part of the um, toy vlog videos. But I thought I had enough stuff here to show you guys a bunch of stuff that I picked up this week. So I thought I'd do that as a separate video. So don't worry, the toy vlogs are coming back, by the way. They took a little hiatus. I've been working very hard to do, um, recatch up on the reviews again because that got out of hand again for a little while. <laughs> I had a lot of deliveries very quickly. So I was working through the reviews. And also, um, I just had a bit of... Um, you know, with the Euros and obviously getting getting to the final and stuff, kind of had a few days off of YouTube, just kind of watching the football and things. And then also on top of that, it's been um, just family stuff at home and things, so I've just been catching up, guys, so bear with us. Uh, but for now, I've got a traditional haul video that you guys enjoy anyway. So let's jump straight in and show you a couple of the first items that I've already got. And by the way, I've already plugged a couple of holes. You remember about a week ago, I did my retro toy video, which was the start of my retro series where I'm going to be hunting down toys from my childhood or toys that are retro that I really want. I've actually plugged three holes in the collection already and they're going to be in this hole. So stay tuned. I'll show you those at the end. But for now, guys, the first item that I picked up this week... Because I really enjoyed having Rattigan, I needed Basil. So this is Basil of Baker Street, I think, as, as the Americans call him. But over here in the UK, we call it the Great Mouse Detective. I think you guys in America call it Basil of Baker Street, don't you? We call it the Great Mouse Detective, as far as I'm aware. I think there's two different names, or some, there's something about the name, anyway. But yeah, this is uh, 774, and it's Basil. So I'm really hoping, as well, to, for them to release more in this line, because I really love Basil and I really love this film. Uh, the Great Mouse Detective, Basil of Baker Street, whatever you want to call it. I really enjoy it. It's a great film. And obviously, uh, Rattigan was voiced by the late Vincent Price, as well, in that one. Very cool. I got a couple of new video games, actually, that I picked up for Super Soldier Jr. Somebody on one of the groups was selling some video games at really reasonable prices. So I managed to pick up two. I managed to get the Kart Racers from Nickelodeon. And also the Spongebob game, uh, Battle of Bikini Bottom. So we've got two awesome new video games for Super Soldier Jr. to play. Thank you for the heads up, by the way, this week on the announcement that um, we're going to be get that the uh, He-Man figures... We're slowly appearing on Amazon because I I've actually pre-ordered uh, the the new He-Man Revelation figures with comics and cocktails, and I've pre-ordered He-Man, Skeletor, and Battle Cat. But I didn't <laughs> pre-order because it sold out. Was Skelly God, and he's now actually on Amazon.co.uk's website, readily available and in stock. So I've grabbed myself one. And I can't wait to review him. I'm going to be reviewing him tomorrow because he's so new and stuff. And he's not really out properly over here in the as of yet, as far as I'm aware. Only a few retailers have them right now. So I'm going to be reviewing him uh, for Sunday's video. So stay tuned for that, guys. I also picked up some more of the Warhammer figures because I've been enjoying reviewing those as well. So I've managed to get myself the Adepta Sor uh, I can never say these words. Soritis. Battle Sister with the bolster and the chainsword. So she's the Battle Sister, but I couldn't resist because I did get, if you guys remember, the Blue Space Marine, the Ultramarine or the Space Marine, whatever you call it. So I couldn't resist getting the Blood Angels variant. So this is the Blood Angels Hellblaster with the red and the blue helmet. So in my review, I'm going to be swapping the heads over so I've got a solid blue one and a solid red one because I don't. When I painted my Warhammer 40,000, I never gave them alternate heads that had different colours. It just looks odd. I know the helmets are slightly different, but I don't care. I want the solid blue figure and the solid red figure. <laughs> it just looks weird with the blue head. I know that might mean keeping with something in Warhammer that I'm just not aware of. Uh, I'm going to have to grab the chair, guys. It's really warm today, and my stump is killing me already. So bear with me while I readjust. <laughs> Lower in the camera. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. So, yes, um, we've got those Warhammer figures to review as well. Very excited about that, especially the um, the sister as well. I've not seen this one before. I'm not really overly au fait with this character, so I'm going to have to look it up before I review it. But yes, I remember these bad boys from back when I played Warhammer, the Marines. So, I wanted to get a few of them, but I'm not at the price they currently are. 
they're currently asking just short of 30 quid for these around here so i'm going to definitely be waiting for those to drop in price a little bit hoping we can find a sale somewhere and have a bunch of these on sale and i can pick a bunch up for there to have as a, a unit i would like at least four maybe five <coughs> probably in the blue as well in the classic blue although i, I do love the blood angels anyway moving on let me just find a little home for these down here and then something that I've been hunting for a very long time that I can't believe I finally only just got my hands on. And it was thanks to A1 Toys. So A1 Toys, thank you very much for having this in stock. I was just perusing the internet trying to find this and you guys' website popped straight up first. So you got my custom. And it is the Kingdom Hearts Hercules action figure. I, I wanted this because it came with three more of the Heartless, which I've already got a bunch of behind me in my toy box thing. My toy box little windows because they scale well with them. But not only that, it also comes with the fully articulated Hercules. And you know what? You don't see any Hercules merchandise. Disney really don't make action figures anymore, which annoys the hell out of me. Because imagine if they released like the Hercules action figure line, um, Tarzan, uh they could even do Mulan. There's so many things, or so many of the like, the they're, 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 they're action orientated films that could have toy lines. I don't understand. They could be making millions. But anyway, for now, this is the Kingdom Hearts 3 Hercules figure, and I cannot wait to review him and get him on my shelf because Hercules is one of my favourites growing up. Not because of Herc. I used to love Hades. <laughs> Hades was my favourite villain as a kid. You know, bada bing, bada boom, jet bang. Two thumbs way up. <laughs> I just love the actor. He was amazing at doing that. Right, guys, as promised, it's time to move on to a couple of retro figures. I have plugged some holes in my collection. I'm very excited about it. Some stuff that you guys were, um, you guys were really excited to see me going on to doing some retro stuff. And don't worry, eventually a lot of this will end up on the channel reviewed as well under my new vintage line sort of series. But first one up, I can't believe I st someone still has this. <laughs> so this is the Weevil from Ghostbusters, uh, the real Ghostbusters. <laughs> He's such a cool figure. Arr, it still works. Arr, it can make him howl. I had this as a kid. I actually had this action figure as a child. <laughs> so cool. And uh, yeah, I can't believe I finally have this back. So got the Howling Werewolf. Very happy about that. I plugged another hole in my Terminator 2 collect collection, so we had this one. Uh, so again, another Terminator for the series, and I'm talking with someone on Instagram right now who also has the car and the bike. So I should have the car and the bike in the coming days. Obviously these arms pop off, by the way. That's, I'm, not, I'm not bending that to break it. That's just how the arms were on these. They popped off and on and they put different things on them. But yes, very much excited about that because once I get the car and the bike, I'm nearly, I've nearly got a full set. I am not missing many characters after that. Um, I just want the playset. If I can get the playset with a, with, with at least one, one of the gungers, I'll be a happy boy. Whether that gunge is still working at this point, it might be rotten, but I would love one of the playsets, and then I can say that I've got a complete or a near, a near complete Terminator line. Happy about that. And then finally. A nice bubble wrap little mesh mass here. Open it up. So you guys, at the end of my video when I was talking about stuff, I also said that I was looking for some McFarlane's monsters, especially um, some of the Dracula ones, so that I could plug some holes in my Dracula series, ready for Halloween, because it's Halloween I am going to be doing my Dracula um, action figure series where I'm going to look at all the Dracula action figures I can get my hands on. And we're also going to go to Whitby and go to uh, see the um, the crash site of the... I had the name of the ship in my head a minute ago. It'll come to me. D -d oh, I didn't begin with a D. Nope, it's gone out of my head. I did have the name of the ship in my head. Oh my God, how many times have I read that book as a kid? And how many times did I do the play? Oh my god. Anyway. McFarlane's Monster Dracula. His cape, um, his cape's a little bit floppy than I would have imagined, to be honest. And there's no way to connect it to the back of the figure, which is annoying. It just kind of sits on the shoulders. But yeah, we'll figure that out. We'll figure our way out to, how to get it on there. But yes, 
at least we have it guys and he's more or less fully complete i think um because all the he's got all the chains attached with all the bats and things so i think this i think this is a nyan complete figure isn't it anyway i can remove that i can remove that for now and there you go there's the fig yeah i'm pretty sure that's a nyan complete dracula fig but he's got all the he's got all the bats and all the rats and things on him which is very cool and of course with the cape with the chain as well so very happy boy indeed again i'm gonna because he's quite he's quite old and delicate that one do you guys remember when i did the dracula playset back in the from the mcfarlane's monsters playsets uh i got that from horicon about two or three years ago and that review is like on that twenty thousand views now on my channel or something that and that video is still as popular today as it was when i first did it because i don't i think that playset's pretty rare to find but yes before i'm gonna have to just quickly pop these over here out of the way put them in the drawer let's see you keeping whoa my chair Ooh. <laughs> so guys what are your thoughts on this haul let us know in the comments down below this week coming up i have got some great videos for you coming this week i've got a big unboxing to do from comics and cocktails arriving on monday morning i've also got another action figure arriving monday morning that's going to be awesome uh so I'm, i might do two videos on monday i'm not sure or you might see one monday one tuesday i've also got a thrifting video to do we're going car car booting um potentially definitely finishing off a toy hunt video i've got a bit more, fo more footage to capture and i go toy hunting next week so i'm going to be capturing that for you um what else is coming up on the channel i've got a bunch of stuff i'll be putting the great mouse detective basil uh pop pop vinyl up today on my instagram so stay tuned for that and i'm trying to think what else i said thrifting toy hunts i've got a call well, i've got two hauls this week coming and I might have some more. <laughs> oh, the toy vlogs. Sorry, yes, it's, the, it's the, the two toy vlogs that are almost filmed and done. So those are coming out this week as well. We've got a bit of customising in there. We've got some um, overviews of some action figures. We've got preparing for the Halloween videos, because don't forget, over Halloween, I'm doing 31 horror toys in 31 days. So I'll be preparing for that as well, and I'll show you some of the figures that we've prepared for that. And other than that, guys, I'm pretty sure that is everything. So stay tuned. Next Sunday, I'm going to be at Doncaster Unleashed. So next Sunday, we will be filming over at Doncaster Unleashed as well as running our stall. Because uh, if you haven't heard already, my website is now live and I'm now running my own toy stall and things like that. Uh, so if you want to check it out, it's supertoystore.co.uk. Please check us out um, and check out the website. We will be trading at Doncaster Unleashed as well as having a run around with the camera and stuff. So if you do see us, please say hi. And I will be pu putting a video of me trying to track, track down some vintage toys while I'm there as well. So guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel, and I'll see you in the next video. But until then, if you're new around here, please be sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us. It really helps us out and helps us to keep making awesome videos. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. And until then, may the force be with you. Bye!